Hello and welcome to NC Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will be generating some text and engraving it into our part. We are picking this up at the point we left off last time with chamfering. So let's generate some text. I'm going to go up to my model tab. I'm going to make sure that the part folder is highlighted and I'm going to click on text creation. The text I want to create is E-N-C-Y. And there it is generated. Now I can adjust the height of the text to make it a little bigger. And if we hit top on the view cube, we can use our X and Y location to place it generally where we want it. I'm going to click into the Y DRO and start using my center wheel to bring the text down. Now I'll click into the X DRO and move the text over. This looks like a good place for it. Let's click Apply. Now I'm going to go into my Machining tab, and I'm going to add a 2D engraving operation. Now it's picking the 12 millimeter spot chamfer that we have in our library, and we could engrave with that, but let's Double click on engraving, click on our tutorial tool table, and add an engraver, and we'll call it an 8 millimeter engraver. Change the diameter. We're going to change the end diameter to 0 and the angle to 40 degrees. If we zoom in on here, we can see what we just made. Now let's go for the holder. We'll pick a holder like we've had in the past. And we can go to feeds and speeds. Let's put 6,000 RPMs and a working feed of 800 millimeters per minute and we will select that tool for the operation. Now let's go down to our job assignment. We need to create a base surface for this operation so we're going to click on base surface and then I'm going to come over to this area and click and then OK. Now we want to add our pockets and or boss. So first we'll click on the C and click add pocket, then Y, then N, then E, and then the inside of the E will be a boss. Now we need to go to our strategy and turn on V carving. Let's click play to generate the op. As before, you will see a red mark on the operation as this model does not have this text in the actual 3D model. NC will interpret it as hurting the model However, obviously, we want to do this. So let's take a look at the simulation. And click play. That looks excellent. There are many different fonts that can be used 
any Windows based fonts and you can add them into the program as well. There's also quite a few stroked fonts, which are just more of a single line font that you would find if you just wanted to do basic text. So this has been using the 2D engraving operation to engrave some letters on the model. Please check for additional tutorials in the future. Remember, all the models used in these tutorials are available in a link in the description. Thank you.